uh, the, the other thing, so you either plug it in or you can swap and go to the back. Yeah. As an energy expo to Spruker's climate credentials, the details of another policy... We will put people at the centre of the NDIS. ..proved hazardous. What are the six points? The, the six points are what we will do in terms of was outlined by Bill Shorten. The six points of your policy, uh, Mr Albanese. Points? Unable to answer, when colleague Chris Bowen took the mic, the Labor leader gestured to a staffer before being slipped notes. You've just been handed the six points, Mr Albanese. What are they? Lifting the NDIA staffing cap, doubling existing funding for advocacy. If not being across details has been Anthony Albanese's problem this campaign. I'm focused on the contest between Labor and Liberals and myself and Mr Albanese. Thank Scott Morrison's has been external events, including a big one offshore. We are threatened with invasion, Mr Speaker, and that's serious. Solomon Islands Prime Minister Manasseh Sogavari, who recently signed a security pact with Beijing, again lashing out at the Australian government. We are being treated as kindergarten students walking around with cold 45s in our hands and therefore we need to be supervised. We are insulted. The government has dropped the ball on the Pacific right now. Scott Morrison hasn't spoken to his Solomon's counterpart since the deal became public. I am following very carefully the advice that I get from our security intelligence agencies in how we are responsibly managing the issues in relation to this matter. Scott Morrison should have got on the phone to the Prime Minister of the Solomon Islands and actually uh, you know, pleaded with him not to go down this path. The Solomon's China Pact has dented the foreign policy credentials of Scott Morrison and the Coalition. Along with rising interest rates, it'll be a problem for whichever side wins the election. But as the Solomon's PM has made clear to everyone by now, no change of government here will necessarily sway him from his new alliance with Beijing. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.